At this point, we're going to be talking about our drape tool. Now, the drape tool is an interesting feature that will actually work with any shapes, any geometry that you're using by basically draping almost like a blanket type surface over the top of it. So first of all, I'd like to create a few shapes. I'll just create some solid shapes here. Just sort of a random collection of primitives or solid shapes. Okay, so I have a basic little layout. Now what I'm going to do is go to Surface, Drape. At this point I need to drag a window over the area to drape. My settings are Auto Spacing and Auto Max Depth. So let's drag here from left to right. And then we can take a look from the side and you can see, especially if I move this up off of our surfaces, you can see what's happened here. Sort of a blanket or a film placed over the top of our shapes. Now notice the square, the box, was lowered down and was completely untouched by the drape. The drape didn't go far enough down. Now that actually is adjustable. I'm going to undo now, surface, drape once again. Auto max depth, no, max depth. Once I click here, I can then click here and change this. Let's try 1.0, press enter, drag a window, and now let's take a look. Again, I'll move it up here so it doesn't confuse with our other shapes. So as you can see, a much larger drape. In this case, the box is certainly covered, as is everything else. The setting of 1.0, it should cover your entire shapes. Delete my original shapes here. Now you'll notice also that part of the drape is left flat at the bottom. We have this flat surface at the bottom. Well, often if you're using the drape tool to get this sort of draped, almost cloth-like effect, you're going to want to remove that section. So I'll go ahead and do that now. It's really not a big deal. We're just going to go to Surface, Plane, Cutting Plane. In my front viewport here, so I can see what I'm doing, I'm going to draw a line from here to here, then right-click. Now you see we have our cutting plane down there. My original drape shape is still selected. So what I'm going to do now is use my split tool, select my cutting plane, press enter. And now I'm just going to draw a box from right to left here to highlight both the section that we cut off and the cutting plane itself. Delete key. I'm going to use my shaded preview again. And remember, when we use our shaded preview, I can then go and use my right-click button in any other viewport to turn that viewport into another shaded preview. So here we have it. As you can see, it took a little longer for it to make the meshes and show us the preview. But now we have a nice, evenly cut, draped shape here, or draped setting.